Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us at Mid Michigan Now at 11. I'm Stella Daskalakis. These stories and much more coming up this evening. Lawmakers are still at work in Lansing with no end in sight as Democrats take the chance to push through priorities they've had on their agenda since Ronald Reagan was in office. It has been a very busy evening. Political reporter Rachel Louise Just joins us from the Capitol. She's been very busy. She uh, is wrapping up the major pieces of legislation we saw come to a vote in the last few hours. Rachel, we are anxious to hear what you are finding out tonight. It was a long 13 hour day in Lansing today, but don't mistake a long day for a boring one. We saw a lot of different pieces of legislation pushed through today. Most notably at the end of the day, we saw the, uh, excuse me, the universal background check that was pushed through and voted through uh, long party lines uh, just before 10 o'clock tonight. That is a piece of legislation that's been in the works for a very long time as Democrats have been trying trying to push that through uh, since about 40 years ago. Um, it's been a long time coming for those advocating to end gun violence as well, especially in the wake of what happened at MSU a couple of weeks ago. Those gun reform bills were pushed through to the floor just this afternoon, and they had their first hearing at 3 p.m., passing a committee, eventually passing along party lines on the floor. Another huge policy on the agenda tonight, though, was labor. Just about an, uh, two hours ago, the House passed a repeal of the state's right to work law. That was put in place by a Republican legislature and Governor Rick Snyder. That was back in 2012, about a decade ago. That bill passing along party lines. Right to work is a policy that's controversial among workers. It bans unions from requiring workers at a company to pay dues as a condition of their employment. That bill also being pushed through a committee this morning and onto the floor just a few hours later. Democrats are ramming and jamming this through. Uh, we got notice less than 18 hours ago that they were going to take up this controversial legislation and run it through committee with a very limited hearing, with very limited testimony. It's a play on words, right to work, it's really the right to skirt. It's um, people that can get all of the benefits of a negotiated contract, all the benefits of representation, all the, representative, all the representation of arbitration and legal system without having to pay any kind of dues. And both of those bills, the universal background checks and right to work, are not going to be heading to the Senate, where they're likely going to be facing a uh, minor, excuse me, a majority vote um, passing through uh, with a slim majority that Democrats have there at this point. We'll, of course, be keeping you updated throughout that whole saga as well. Well, lawmakers are still hard at work at this late hour in Lansing as Democrats take the chance to push through priorities they've had on their agendas since Ronald Reagan was president. Our political reporter, Rachel Louise Jass, has been following all of the proceedings at the state capitol today in both the House and the Senate and joins us now live from the Capitol, where lawmakers are expected to vote on universal background checks for firearms soon, and they could be there for a couple more hours. Rachel. Yeah, we're now 13 hours into our day here in Lansing, but don't mistake a long day for a boring one. Just a couple of minutes ago, we saw these universal background check bills pass through right on party lines. That's legislation that has been in the works for a long time, coming from those who are advocating to end gun violence. Those gun reform bills were pushed through the floor just in the last few hours. They had their first hearing at 3 p.m., passing a committee, and now they're waiting for a vote on the floor, getting that vote just a couple of minutes before we went to air. Another huge policy on the agenda tonight though is labor. Just about an hour ago, the House passed a repeal of the state's right to work law, which was put in place by a Republican legislature and Governor Rick Snyder back in 2012. That bill passed along party lines and right to work is a policy that's controversial among workers. It ban bans unions from requiring workers at a company to pay dues as a condition of their employment. That bill also being pushed through a committee this morning and onto the floor a few hours later. Democrats are ramming and jamming this through. Uh, we got notice less than 18 hours ago that they were going to take up this controversial legislation and run it through committee with a very limited hearing, with very limited testimony. It's a play on words, right to work. It's really the right to skirt. It's um, people that can get all of the benefits of a negotiated contract, all the benefits of representation, all the representative, all the representation of arbitration and the legal system without having to pay any kind of dues. 
No, this is an earlier night than we were expecting. I'd been told that we had, would be here until the early hours of the morning, so a little bit earlier than expected. We're going to see all of these bills now heading over to the Senate for a vote there. We'll likely see them pass along party lines there as well.